Hi. Since posting that first calibration of the Theramini video, I've received a number of email messages asking why I neglected to put in a little section of me just calibrating it in real time, as opposed to all the details and back and forth. So I've decided to do a supplemental tutorial, just the first one. This is going to take no time at all, just to show you, once you get good at it, how quickly you can actually calibrate your Theramini in its most basic way. I'm going to show you in real time basic Ooh. calibration of yeah basic calibration of the Theramini. I'm going to do it two ways as quickly as possible. The first is just with very slight commentary to remind you. Second, I'm going to do it like I normally would when I come down to practice or work on songs on my own. So ostensibly, you have already got your volume knob turned all the way clockwise, your pitch correction knob turned all the way counterclockwise, your effects button or knob rather turned all the way counterclockwise, and your presets button on 01 Classic Theremin. So the first thing we do is press the setup button, hold it for five seconds. And it says calibration, press setup to begin. So I'll do that. I press setup. Calibration, press setup, then move at least four feet to 1.5 meters away. I press setup and leave. Press go. Near pitch, press setup, then hold hand near pitch antenna. Press setup, hold. It has counted down. It only takes three seconds. Far pitch, press setup, then hold hand far from pitch antenna. You want to go about the length of the theremini without the volume loop included. Instead of doing it sideways, I'm going to do it the way I normally would. Here I go. Press setup and put my hand right there. That gives me my lowest note. Now I have. My low note and my high note, my control space is about 14 to 16 inches. Next, near volume, press setup, then hold the near, hold your hand near the volume antenna, which I'm going to do two inches from the loop itself for reasons of articulation when we get to that in another tutorial, two inches. But I'm gonna use both hands, I'm gonna press with my right and immediately put my left hand up there to make sure there's no crossover. Here we go, press setup and hold. Count it down, that's it. Now. Far volume, press setup, then hold hand far from volume antenna. Again, I'm going to go about the length of the theremini, about 14 inches up. Press and put. That's it. I'm calibrated. I have my lowest up to my highest, and I can go from soft to loud, loud to soft, or on and off. That's it. Now I'm going to do it again, like I normally would without any commentary at all. First, I'm going to turn the theremin off so that I'm starting from scratch, just as you would. Now, remember, if you ended on Classic One Theremin, Zero One Classic Theremin, it's going to be right there again when you turn the theremin on. It'll already be on that preset. So here I go. Okay. I'm just turning my master volume up. So I can hear it. Okay, here we go. All right. I'm going to, everything is set. I'm going to press the setup button for five seconds. Everything's set. There you have it. In the next tutorial, Theramini 102, I'm going to describe the ways to use a few more of the more esoteric and detailed calibrations. From there, we're going to go into a whole other sphere. So next one, a few more calibrations, and then we're off into the way gonosphere.